Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn find matching pattern. This is one of the regular expression activity. Okay. If you see, if you highlight, if I highlight this activity, it is part of uipath.system.activities. So how to use this activity in this video, we are going to learn how to use the uipath regular exp expression activity, find matching pattern. Okay. Now for this, what I'm going to do. I'll be using this UI demo application, UI path demo application. And my objective is to find out this account number only from the entire text. I would like to find only this one. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a control A, copy this and I'm going to use the pattern. So find matching pattern means what? There is an entire text inside that you are looking account number where is the account number and what is the value of it find a matching pattern okay that is the meaning let's click on this configure regular expression okay nothing we have done we are just starting now we clicked on the configure regular expression and in the test text okay in this particular place i'm going to copy paste the value of the application okay if you have some other web page or anything you know from anywhere else just copy paste a value here so that something like this okay two paid values there is a uh, there is a label account number and this value if you find some data anywhere you just copy paste here our main objective is to learn how to use the activity so this is the data now in this one i will use literal and in literal i am going to if i if i am typing this one account number what i will do i will just highlight it okay copy this also has a space after the colon okay it has a small space now what happened the moment i am typing this entire thing in this this is the input okay this entire thing is input in this entire input it is saying hey account number is available here what if i type account number one more here okay for example i am typing account number is equal to uh, one two three four seven eight nine eight nine zero okay so what is happening it is saying this account number is now available two times in this input getting it so it is highlighting wherever it is there in the input this this entire thing is input it is telling you now next thing i'll use a plus sign and the plus sign in this drop down i'm going to select advanced okay advanced so what i will do i'll use this symbol okay parenthesis dot star and i'll close it okay so what is the meaning of this after account number colon right space after that this means zero or more characters preceding the previous value so after this account number anything that precedes in the same line you need to pick that up so what is happening the yellow one is highlighted so this will be your output so the yellow one got highlighted so this entire thing becomes the output now getting it this has become the output so this is the expression remember the meaning of this one um, right um, square bracket uh, sorry parenthesis dot star and parenthesis close so this means zero or more characters preceding after the literal in the same line getting it so we got this particular value what would happen if you write something else here even that will get highlighted getting it so i'm going to remove that so anything after this account number gets highlighted so i'm going to hit on save the moment you save what happens the expression that you have created gets saved in the pattern if you open this pattern and maximize it this is what got saved this is the expression this is the regular expression just now you have written now in this one the below one pattern options ignore case completed leave it as it is no, no need to change anything there now here in the miscellaneous there is something called result okay so there are two different options you find one is result the one that's the last one is first match so in the value just now you saw the value right the value had uh, you know multiple account numbers so you want only the first match then use this output if you need everything then use this one results so here in this case i am going to create a variable as results hit on enter 
So what would happen? This variable results is going to contain the entire output. So there are multiple outputs. Okay. So let's see what is the how the output is appearing. Message. So can you write um, simply the results variable here? If you write the results variable, will it work? No, it won't work because do you know what is the reason why it, it won't work? Because it's a i numerable type. That means it's a kind of a list, okay, which can it which can contain multiple matches. So if you see i numerable kind of a list, okay. So uh, or a collection, you can say it it can have multiple values. So this if you run this way, this won't give you any output. Okay, this activity also needs text to search in, okay. So text to search in. Uh, there we were testing while configuring it. We were testing the actual input. You have to provide either through a variable or direct text. So here I will copy this and paste it. Okay. Uh, copy within double quote. You have to do it. Okay. Double quote and paste the data. And let me click on OK. All right. So the input has been given. It's going to search for. This particular value account number, uh, this one, okay. Uh, why this one? Okay, let me keep it like this so it becomes easy to understand, right? Proper window. Okay, so everything is configured. Uh, now let's see the output. Okay, how it is coming first of all. This won't work, as I said. Let me run it. I'll show you. Uh, it won't give you the right results. So I'll tell, also tell you how to correct that. Okay. So you can see it has come as system dot text dot regular expression match dot collection. So actually, it is showing you the data type, but not really the output that we want. Okay. So what is the expression for this? I'm going to talk about. Now, when you are writing expression of uh, you know the, the regular expression, we have to know few things. Okay, uh, so if you see the pattern, right? The pattern has got account number uh, and this one. Uh, this is the output, the value. Okay, anything after this is going to pull that. I'm going to show you a couple of things. It is very important now to understand. If I'm writing results zero. Like if I ask you, there is an array or there is a list, you know, to pull the first value. So you write the index number, right? The same thing goes with this i numerable type. Okay. If you see this i numerable or, or a, more like a list or an array. So if I save this and run it, look at the output. I'm going to show you multiple different things. So the output by writing result zero, what we got, accounts number and everything we have got. Okay. 3210 all the including account number is also the output so what if i don't need account number i need only the rest of the part i need 3210 getting it i don't need account number in the output so in that case <clears throat> i have to slightly modify this uh, this specific one okay for example if i am writing uh, result 0 dot groups 1 i need that first value groups one dot value okay let me show it in a slightly bigger screen okay okay clear result zero uh, group one dot value so we got this great now let's run and see the output so you can see we have got only the value that we need. We got only the value that we really need. Okay. Now, what would happen if you write results one, um, right? All those things are also questions. For example, in your input pattern, okay, what if there are, you got it right, how I came here. Here I click text to search in. what if i am going to put the account number some two to three times okay paste and paste and i'm going to put some other values here let's say one two three four five and i'm going to say five 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 something like this okay so there are two different values 
Now what would happen if I am going to mention uh, 1 here instead of 0 I will say mention 1. So I am going to get 1, 2, 3, 4 getting it is like a list you are or an array uh, where you are trying to pull the different different values pretty simple. So you can see I have got the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If I need the third one, I, all, all I have to do results 2 if I write is going to give me the next value. So I hope you have learned how to fetch the values from the I numerable type and how to use the UI path find matching patterns activity. So thank you guys for watching this. We are going to meet once again in our next content. Till then take care. Bye bye.